So good afternoon. Welcome all to this lecture. We are discussing the chemistry of main group elements. So far in the last lecture, we have discussed very important points, special compounds of various P block elements, S block elements, different groups, group one, group two, group 13, group uh, group 13 14 and 15 okay. in the last lecture we have discussed silicates types of silicates what are the silicates we have learned many important points today we will discuss nitrogen activation or it is also called as activation of nitrogen gas n2 we know n2 is a very stable molecule in the environment and it, it is the one of the important component of the mixture called air. Air is the mixture of various gases and N2 is the one of the component of the gases, fine. Okay, but see, the important task is what? To activate the nitrogen. The important task is to activate the nitrogen and its utilization which is of great importance in the service of human being. We know nitrogen is an essential element present in the amino acids protein. We can say there is no protein if there is no nitrogen. And there is no protein, there is no life. Remember the point. If there is no nitrogen, there is no protein, there is no protein, there is no life because nine, more than 90% of the physiological processes of the cell they are carried out by nitrogen containing or protein we can say in addition we also well versed we know we are very much familiar with the dna dna is what the essential part of the nucleus and in dna we have also learned that dna contain consists of three types of component one of them is nitrogen basis and nitrogen basis means itself it contains that it's itself it's telling that the nitrogen basis means nitrogen containing compounds purines and pyrimidines so if you it is so we can say it is very essential for life similarly we know nitrogen also play a very important role uh, in the agricultural field because why because the reason is fertilizers the very good fertilizers or effective fertilizers are containing nitrogen based compound ammonium nitrates like that. Okay, so nitrogen can occur in many compounds. Okay, but N2 molecule having the triple bond between the or bond order is three in N2 molecule is highly unreactive and present in the environment around us. It is reported that only few reagents they can react with the, with the nitrogen gas and they bring out a fission of one bond or nitrogen nitrogen bond but that is not sufficient okay for example if you take lithium and magnesium these are the two elements these are the two elements in the s block element which are very much reactive towards nitrogen. No other element can react with nitrogen. Only lithium and magnesium can react with nitrogen. And they form nitride, lithium nitride and magnesium nitride. This lithium form Li3N, remember, and magnesium form MgN. What is the valence of magnesium 2? So write 2 here, valence of nitrogen is 3, so write 3. This is the way of writing the true formula of any compound. So these two compounds are this, this lithium nitride is this one, and magnesium nitride is this one. Okay. So Mg3 and 2. So these metals they directly react with the nitrogen and they form nitrides. Okay, so you can see here, it's lithium and nitrogen gas, it form lithium nitride. Similarly, 
magnesium also combined with nitrogen and it form magnesium nitrate so you can see here reactions are there before that. okay however uh, the uh, the rate of reaction is very very slow very very much slow and this is because of very less reactivity or unreactivity of n2 gas what are the factors what are the reason that nitrogen gas n2 gas cannot reacts with any compound any reactant easily because of many reasons few are explained here remember to break the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond so it required the high energy of activation when there is a high energy of activation molecule do not easily undergo into reaction remember if any compound any reaction which is having the high activation energy so that that reaction will take long time and we can say for such reactions a rate of reaction is very very low similarly another concept is what nitrogen or, or the nitrogen is a such element which do not have the allotropes remember if any atom having the allotropes what is allotropes means when a uh, an atom or element exists in number of structures okay and such such structures they are different by colors physical properties they are called as allotropes for example phosphorus phosphorus has three allotropes red phosphorus white phosphorus black phosphorus like that so because of this property of the various elements to exist in the allotropic form they are very reactive how see you consider the example of phosphorus which is of three types white phosphorus red phosphorus and black phosphorus so white phosphorus is highly reactive compared to black and black is reactive compared to sorry white is more highly reactive compared to red phosphorus and red phosphorus is very much reactive compared to black phosphorus now we can say black phosphorus is highly stable but but nitrogen what about nitrogen case in the case of nitrogen there is no allotropes hence n2 cannot be form allotropes and then therefore it is uh, unreactive or less reactive you can say the third important factor is what you must know homo and lumo homo means highest occupied molecular orbital lumo means lowest unoccupied molecular orbital remember when we study the molecular orbital theory or lumo homo theory you will find that if this gap this gap is less electron can jump from homo to lumo and in this way the the element or molecule can be uh, participate can participate in the chemical reaction and that is called as reactive compound but what is the case of nitrogen gas and to gas there is a much more gap in the homo and lumo so what will happen then if this is a lumo homo and this is a lumo lumo means lowest unoccupied molecular orbital and this is a homo homo means home, highest occupied molecular orbitals so this electron which is here present it cannot go here why because the gap is very large cannot go gap is very large here hence this is the reason electron transfer is resisted resisted because of large gap and that make the nitrogen less reactive another factor is what with this nitrogen gas is low polarizability what is the meaning of low polarizability n2 being a highly non polar why non polar because n n bond there is no difference in electron negativity if you see this nitrogen and this triple bond nitrogen fine so because there is a no difference zero difference between the electron negativity therefore they they are they cannot be polar they have they show low polarizability 
I means negligible polarizability. Therefore, nitrogen is uh, unreactive because of these factors. Okay. Therefore, the activation of nitrogen is highly desirable. Okay, remember the point. To activate the nitrogen is highly desirable because of its greatest use in the yes, service of human being. We have seen this now. You see, for example, now see here. Uh, so one of the process is what Haber process. How to activate the nitrogen? So you must write. You must think about Haber process. It's a very famous process discovered by the Haber scientist. Haber used nitrogen gas, and he has prepared the ammonia. And this is a very good example of nitrogen activation. The best example of nitrogen activation is what Haber process. So Haber process has used nitrogen, which is a very cheaply available gas, and reacted with the H two hydrogen gas in the presence of a catalyst, a free catalyst, and he has prepared the what ammonium under high pressure and temperature. You can see how the how the nitrogen can be activated. Using this iron as a catalyst. Okay, fine. So this is the first one, Haber process, by which we can activate the nitrogen. Second process is what catalytic conversion. This is this provide the another sort of the activation of N two gas. What we do in catalytic conversion? So in this catalytic conversion, nitrogen N two gas is converted into ammonium ion by use of metal enzymes called nitrogenase. This metal enzymes, which is called as nitrogenase, this metal enzymes nitrogenase, that bring out the fixation of this nitro atmospheric nitrogen gas okay and convert into ammonium ion and this metal enzymes nitrogenase is present in a special type of bacteria you must know this you might be knowing this bacteria uh, which are present with the root nodules of legumes okay or root nodules of legume so there these bacteria by using a particular enzyme called metal enzymes nitrogenase they catch they collect the atmospheric nitrogen and convert that atmospheric nitrogen into the ammonium ion and that ammonium ion act as a very good fertilizer for the soil similarly the third way of activating n2 is what it's a by simple method by using N2 gas with some certain complexes, solution of complexes. For example, you see this is a ruthenium complexes, it is a coordination compound. What is that coordination compound? Here you can see here. This OH2 means it is a peroxide, peroxide ion. Okay, and this pentamine ruthenium two complex. This when just bubbling of N two will produce this complex in which nitrogen is activated. We can see here. We can see. Okay, right? Yes. This is the water H two O or H two is the water aqua pentamine ruthenium two complex two ion and like this. See. So what is you can observe here? This nitrogen N two gas has just replaced this water molecule. See. This water molecule is replaced by this N two. You should know the Werner theory of coordination complexes. Exchange of ligands takes place. Called as exchange of ligand. This is called as exchange of ligand. Exchange of Exchange of ligand is called as 
exchange of ligands so this is a third method by which ligand exchange would also produce as a provide a very good idea method or methodology for the activation of nitrogen h2o is replaced by replaced by n2 molecule okay so this is one of the method by which okay another extension of activation of nitrogen is what direct reduction of n2 gas to ammonia at room temperature this is just the very advanced innovation in the haber process we have also used haber process reduction of n2 by use of hydrogen gas in the presence of iron but it require the high temperature and pressure but recent advances means development in the research shows that we can reduce the nitrogen at room temperature very important point and atmospheric pressure okay but haber did not do that if you use room temperature and atmospheric pressure means 1 atm by use of certain type of catalyst called as molybdenum based catalyst which contain this type of ligands tetra dented triamidoamine triamidoamine by using molybdenum based ligands molybdenum based compound we can also activate the nitrogen gas okay how it will activate the nitrogen with containing a lone pair and act as a ligand therefore it is combined with the uh, complex molybdenum complex and would form coordinate bonds with the molybdenum and that converted into ammonia this is the one of the method of activation of nitrogen by using the same method of reduction of nitrogen and to by in the presence of some complexes of molybdenum and nitrogen can be activated and converted into ammonia fine so this is what about the 